Who remembers a film from 1995 directed by Tim Burton known as Mars Attacks? Now, for those of you that grew up in the 90s and that are in your 30s like myself, you will definitely remember this movie. Some of you, probably not, but quite a bit of you, yes, because who isn't a fan of Tim Burton's work, right? I mean, come on, we're talking Pee-wee's Big Adventure, we're talking Beetlejuice, Edward Scissorhands, and Tim Burton's Batman. And yes, I do stand on that. That is still the greatest Batman movie ever. And Jack Nicholson is still the best Joker. I don't care what anyone says. But I don't want to get off track here. But the bottom line, it's Tim Burton who made this movie. Now, I actually remember going to see this movie in the theaters when I was a kid. I was dying to see it because I was already a huge fan of Tim Burton at the time. Oh my goodness. I mean, I watched his movie so much as a kid. And so when I heard that there was a Martian movie that he made, I was like, I gotta see this movie. And I went to go and see it, and it blew my freaking mind. For a lot of the public, not so much, because the movie very much flopped. Now some of you might be thinking, well wait a minute, this is Tim Burton, how can any of his movies flop? Well, I think the reason for that is, is because in that same year of 1995, no, 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 scratch that, 1996. So in that same year, Independence Day had come out, and uh, which was in the summertime, and it was very well received, and it grossed over $800 million. Whereas Mars Attacks in that same year, which came out in Christmas time, that only grossed $100 million. Most people did not like it, even kids my age did not like it, and I was made fun of so badly for liking this movie. All of my friends gave me crap for it, and they would not let me see the end of it, and I was like, guys, I don't care. Listen, I love Independence Day just as much as the rest of you do, but I, I love Mars Attacks more, I'm sorry, I just do. Now, what makes me bring this up exactly? Well, because I'm more than just a metalhead, you guys. I am also the kind of guy that likes to live in nostalgia. And I want to talk about the somehow forgotten games of Mars Attacks that came out back in the day after the movie came out. Some of you may be thinking, wait, Mars Attacks video games? Well, well, what is this all about? Well, that's what we're about to get into right now. So let's get into it. This is the forgotten Mars Attacks game. Now the Mars Attacks minigames that I'm talking about happened to come along with certain action figures that were released at the time. And these games were released on these floppy disks. Now some of you may be thinking, what is a floppy disk exactly? Well, I'm not going to go into the history of them or anything like that, but I will explain. They are these very thin, plastic, little square looking discs that you were able to put, you know, files on and, you know, like for example, like a report that you were working on or something like that, you could save it to those discs. And when you had to turn it into work, you could turn it in then on that floppy disk or uh, different things that you could put on them. You know, they're, they're, they're pretty much like, like, like pre-flash drive. And there were a lot of game companies that used floppy disks to put video games on. Now the Mars Attacks figures, they were actually created by an independent toy company known as Trend Masters. And Trend Masters at the time, they were best known for their action figures of uh, Tarzan, Godzilla, and I believe War Masters too. And with a lot of their toy lines, they liked to create these little mini games on, the, on these floppy disks that they would actually add into the packaging of the toys. And when there wasn't that much competition between you know, Trend Masters and any of the major, major toy companies at the time, when there wasn't that much competition, that gave Trend Masters you know, the opportunity to absolutely get their hands on other properties out there. And what would later come as a property that they would get their hands on is Mars Attacks. And by the way, did you guys know that Mars Attacks is actually based on a trading card series that was released in the 60s? And I gotta say, man, they are freaking awesome. So anyway, there were three figures in particular that had these mini games on floppy disks. And I want to share them with you right now. Now, I don't have the floppy disks, actually. I don't own them. But the footage of them have actually been released on YouTube. And I want to share these forgotten games because they need to be remembered and... We need to get back to playing these games. Either that, or we need to get in contact with Water Brothers, and we need to absolutely overwhelm them with emails saying, you gotta give us an open world Mars Attacks game. Now let's go over one of the games. As you can see, 
There's really not that much to it. Nothing really changes. You just simply blow up passing pedestrians with your lasers. <laughs> that's, that's pretty fun. Hey, what else would you do as a Martian, right? What else can you ask for? And as the levels go on, it gets more challenging each time. So it may seem simple enough. It is. But it does get challenging as it goes on. So it's definitely a lot of fun. Now the second game, actually, is where you are taking care of all these different Martians that come up one at a time. And each one of them, you have to fix up their breathing suit, their breathing apparatuses and all that stuff. You gotta use one of the many different buttons to you know, repair it, or sometimes they'll be hurt. And if you don't do any of this on time, after the 30 seconds, they just die. <laughs> and then the third game, which is probably the best one of all, it's a very simple concept. You got the Martians on the left, and you got these innocent teenagers on the right, and you are using this machine to enlarge insects. And if you do it the right way, then successfully, the insect eats the teenagers. What more can you ask for from Martian games? Now, for those of you that don't know, over the years since the film came out in 1996, even though it flopped at the time, over the years it has gained a huge cult following, and people love it now. By the time, nobody wanted to have anything to do with it. And because, once again, Independence Day had come out, and everybody had already gotten over their lust for sci-fi at the time. So, so for something that can have such a huge cult following at this point, how could the video game possibly be forgotten? Well, I ask people about it once in a while, and everybody remembers the movie, they just don't remember the game. It's pretty sad, but... I definitely remember it, just like I'm sure some of you actually remember it. Maybe not many of you, but I'm sure good enough of you do. And I wanted to share it, so I just I had to get that out of my system. So there you go. That's the whole story about Mars Attacks, the forgotten video game. <laughs>